want to know what inspired you to bring this book series, this famous book series, to screen. Thank you. So you want to do this? I said, sure, let's do it. Okay, I'll do it if you do it. This is so much more than just a girl falls in love with a vampire. Well, where L.J. Smith, the novelist, took it in a different, different is that you know there's a whole mythology. The thing about vampires is it all comes down to, you know, the, the twist in their mythology. You know, what is it garlic? Is it crucifixes? Do you stake them? Can you behead them? How do you kill them? Can they walk in sunlight? There's so many different vampires, ways a vampire can go, and we kind of dug this one. We like to say on our show, no one sparkles when they go into the sunlight, um, but our vampires do actually. Each of them have rings that are mystical. Uh, mystical charm rings that protect them from from the sun so they can walk among us. They're day walkers. Tell me about your vampire role that you're about to take on here. Basically my brother and myself are in a very interesting love triangle. Beautiful young lady right there. We've been sort of feuding for about 145 years and I essentially vowed to make his life miserable for eternity. Now, your character has more power than his. Can you explain why that is, why you can do more? In the vampire world, if you eat people, you have unbelievable amounts of power. You eat squirrels and bunnies and rats because you don't want to kill people. It makes it pretty weak. Tell me something. When's the last time you had something stronger than a squirrel? I know what you're doing, Damon. It's not going to work. Yeah, come on. Don't you crave a little? Stop it. Let's do it. Together. I saw a couple girls out there. Or just, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just go straight for Elena. Stop it! Imagine what her blood tastes like. Damon, my brother, played by Ian Somerhalder, comes in and sort of is a reminder of my past life. He won't let me go and pretend that I'm just this kid who's in love. He is reminding me that I am this vicious monster. I just read the next episode and it gets really intense. Like, it's not one of those shows that drags things on and leaves you hanging. It's like, they get to the meat fast and people are really gonna like it. It gets dark and, and bloody and gory, as you can expect a vampire show to get. I said stop! <laughs> or are you the one who's like, you guys stick to the books or else? Are you being real strict on that? Or are you letting them kind of have loose reins? Um, no, what's so cool about our job is we create something, um, a writer, uh, you know, a New York-based writer or novelist sort of makes it hers, like L.J. Smith made Vampire Diaries hers, and now our job is to use that as the foundation and give it to Kevin Julie and say, go for it. What's, what's your vision of Vampire Diaries? And, and empower them to make it their own. What scares me? Um, the dark scares me. I still look under the bed. I still look behind in the shower. I still search the house before I go to bed.